All right, guys, welcome back to Micro StarCraft 2. Today we have a Protoss build for you, and it is called the One Base Void Raid build. It is very useful against Zerg on short distance maps. The goal is to wall off your ramp and get a very fast Void Raid out to take advantage of Zerg's horrible tier 1 anti air units. When done right, you can win the game on spot or cr severely cripple the Zerg player. Uh, the, a rule of thumb for queens and void rays that is that one void ray will kill one queen and two queens will kill one void ray if the two queens are together. At 9 population you want to throw down your first pylon and send that probe back to the mineral lines to collect minerals. And uh, two void rays can kill two queens with one void ray dying and two queens with enough energy can, trans can do transfusion on each other and hold off two void rays. As soon as uh, the pylon is done, you want to chrono boost your nexus and get as many probes out as you can. At 12 population, you'll want to save up to 150 minerals and build a gateway at the ramp. And send that probe out to scout. This is actually a very horrible position to put the gateway. But um, at 13 population, you should build your, uh, you should chrono boost your nexus and continue building those probes. And at 14 population, you want to build your first assimilator. And once you reach 15 population, you will want to build another pylon. And remember guys, I am only playing against my computer, I just want to show you guys uh, generally how this is done. And when the assimilator comes out, you want to grab three probes and send them to the assimilator. And once the gateway is done at 16 population, you want to start producing your first zealot and send them to the trope. Again, this is very bad trope, you should actually build the, the, the gateway on the right side of this ramp to leave one slot for your zealot to stand in the middle and at 18 population is when you throw down your first cybernetics court and 19 population is when you throw down your second assimilator and remember to put 3 on gas once it finishes and at 19 population uh, at 21 population actually you want to start producing your second zealot and after producing that zealot, it will bring you up to 23 population. This is when you want to build another pylon. And after this zealot is finished, you want to start producing your first century. If you scout the enemy and he indeed has a Roche Warren out, you will need to build a forge and start producing two to three cannons on your ramp. But if there are no forge, you can go ahead and start building your first, your first stargate. Make sure the enemy uh, overlord does not see your stargate. It could be very, very bad. See, let's take a look. Yep, the enemy does not see your stargate. Make sure you're building a place where the enemy will not see. And you want to use your first sentry to chase out that overlord. And once the Stargate is done, you want to start building Void Rays and rally them to the enemy base. And make sure you Chrono Boost the two first Void Rays the entire way. Alright, we got the first Void Ray on the way being Chrono Boosted. And see, I, see how I set that. Um, rally point towards the zerg base and sometimes there will be like a stray overlord in the middle of the map do not engage them just fly past them sometimes the zerg may not see it on the mini map uh, if you attack the overlord they will be alerted and uh, even if you attack the overlord you're wasting time outside of space and giving the zerg player to build up his defenses so you definitely don't want to do that so make sure you keep on chrono boosting and set the rally point of this stargate to the, the first void raid and again if you see a lot of roaches make sure you build a forge and build some cannons around your base that will stop the roaches and if they try to go up the ramp you just just uh, force field the ramp 
And also the first unit that you should engage is the queen. And one boy ray of course will be able to take out one queen. And there you go, just focus down on that hatchery and you should be able to kill the hatchery in just a little bit. And uh, well, yep, that's it. Well, that's it for the build order. So uh, let's talk about a little bit about the transition. So the transition is usually based on what you see with your first void ray. So generally, if you see a hydrogen up, you need to stop stop building these void rays. And uh, if you see one to two hatcheries with heavy roaches, make sure you build additional cannons and extra sentry so that you don't die to a roach counter. And make sure you continue building void ray productions and uh, you may be able to flat out kill him with void rays. If you see one to two hatcheries with zerglings, build your gateway and build up your gateway and zealot account. Continue with void rays. If you, if you see one hatch mutus, add another start gate and switch to phoenix production and possibly expand since he may not have enough larva to uh, zergling counter your natural. Uh, second, if you see two hatch mutus, add another star gate, switch to phoenix, build up your gateway count and hit with the zealots when he tried to switch tech. If you see one to two hatcheries with Hydra, switch to a Templar tech and expand. Also remember to stop building void rays if you see Hydras. And that is it for the one base void ray build. Thank you. And if you like this, please subscribe. And also on the sidebar, the information bar, I have included some pro replays and my own replays. So uh, you can see how it is actually used in battle. Thank you guys.